what's up my lovely people how are you guys doing i know you people have missed me on this space life happens i know i keep coming here to say you know apologize and stuff but guys life happens but as much as possible i still remember you guys all the time and i try as much as possible whenever i can to bring job updates and you know put normal videos and stuff so not to waste your time i've got job updates for you guys i've got some links to share and as you can see here the first one is pediatric nurse overseas applicant and this is leaders in care so you can see the salary range here this is thirty four thousand to forty thousand a year quite good and it's a full-time job i mean to the full job description exciting opportunity for an international pediatric nurse offering salaries up to forty thousand pounds including fantastic relocation and extensive benefit package on offer with excellent career development opportunities guys so as you can see this is definitely for overseas applicants now requirements ielts or oet passed cbt passed ready to sit your oski exam minimum of one year experience working in a pediatric setting keep up to date with current practices and procedure guidelines considering the nature of the role excellent communication and interpersonal skills are required so they are currently considering candidates who have passed their ielts or oet and are currently going through the next step of nmc registration that is the cbt and they are happy to speak to you and work with you until you get to your oski stage now they have a set of five thousand pound relocation package guys and this relocation package includes your flights, COS and visa fees, accommodation support, airport pickup, OSCE exam training and OSCE exam fees paid, welcome pack, pastoral care support and your NMC registration fee paid. Now, someone was recently um, asking the organization they got a job with was saying they would pay for their flight their visa and that they're going to get reimbursed and the person was saying they haven't heard something like that before and i was like oh my god that is a good offer because there are people that would not even reimburse you so yes there are things that work that way people um there are companies that will tell you pay for your flight pay for your visa you know they get you your cos but they tell you to pay for your visa your flight and other um expenditures why they reimburse you once you're in the uk so yes if you get an offer like that as long as they are legit there is a they are a legit company please take the offer it's a good one so if this job applies to you you go ahead and um, apply or you contact lillian at leaders in care on this number for further information now this job was posted 18 days ago so i would advise that as you're seeing this job link you quickly apply because they can close down this job anytime from now and of course if you're going to apply for this job then you have to make sure that the cbt you're writing is you know for the pediatric section okay and not just um the adult nurse cbt now let's look at the next one next one we have here is overseas visitors and private patient officer and this is croydon health service nhs trust so most times the nhs would get um overseas visitors maybe a, a patient that is not registered with the nhs here in the uk maybe a patient um that has just traveled to the uk for like um visiting you know maybe they're visiting their relative or they are here on business you know and they don't have any health care package here and then they became sick and then they had to go to the hospital so yes this are the people that usually oversee a treatment plan in terms of finances and cost and stuff that's what i understand so far so job overview you will ensure that overseas visitors are correctly assessed for eligibility for nhs treatment and will ensure that non-eligible overseas visitors and private patients are charged appropriately for the services they receive so this is what i just literally explained to you is if you go through you read more you get more information on what this role entails so overseas visitor and private patient officer this is a band four role and you can see the key duties and responsibilities just so you have a much more better understanding of what this job or what this role entails 
the interview date is for the 2nd of December, so it's quite close. So screening process will definitely be ongoing now. So if you see this job opportunity, quickly go ahead and apply. Essential criteria. They need you to have two years NHS acute trust experience. We particularly welcome applications from black, Asian and minority ethnic candidates as there is an underrepresentation at senior level with Croydon Health Service NHS Trust. We offer many flexible and part-time working opportunities and all of our substantive and fixed-term employees can enjoy a range of staff benefits including parking, a gym, an active health and well-being program, an on-site nursery and a cycle-to-work scheme. We value diversity and promote equality of opportunities. If this job looks like something that you are interested in, please go ahead and quickly apply. When you scroll down here, the phone part, tier two certificate of sponsorship. So applications from job seekers who require tier two sponsorship to work in the UK are welcome and will be considered alongside all other applications. However, Non-EEA candidates may not be appointed to a post if a suitable, qualified, experienced and skilled EU or EEA candidate is available to take up the post as the employing body is unlikely in these circumstances to satisfy the resident labour market test. So what they are saying is if you require tier 2 sponsorship to work in the UK, you can go ahead and apply because they are very keen on equality and diversity. But at the same time, if they get a suitable person that is already in the UK or within Europe that is suitable for this job, they will create more preference for that person before an international applicant. But go ahead and apply because it states here that you can apply. You might be lucky. Okay. Next one we're looking at is the Seas Visitor Officer, Hammersmith Hospital. I wouldn't be going through so much on this one. So you need to um, sign up with your email or sign in with Google to continue viewing this job. But I'll put the link up so you just have a look at it. Now, the next one, overseas compliance officer. If you want to know what this job is about, all you have to do is scroll down and read the job description. and know what they expect you to have for the job or you can open google and you know find out what exactly these people do what their job role is but you might likely have to be in the uk for this job opportunity and if you look here they say some of our roles require male or female employees only where this is indicated it is a genuine occupational requirement in accordance with the equality act 2010 what i like about the uk is that they do not discriminate in terms of um this is the role for a male or this is the role for a female but there are some times when the job really calls for you know it's a gender specific job and you know they would let you know that this is what they're looking for so that you don't feel like you're being cheated out or something now the last one is overseas a zone office and it's a social care position and this is also at Croydon Greater London and the annual salary is £30,000. Client is offering overseas residents the opportunity to live and work in the United Kingdom through the Home Office Sponsorship Scheme. This is a new role responsible for the recruitment of all overseas residents liaising with the Home Office and ensuring the Home Office Sponsorship Management System is kept up to date. So this is basically someone that is going to act as a liaison officer between um, those um, overseas residents trying to relocate and work in the uk and the home office so i think it's a very interesting role uh, it seems like a role of you know so much esteem and stuff you know being that you people see you as you know you have the key to their success or their relocation so yeah um these are the roles as you can see here so go ahead and read the key responsibilities and the essential skills they expect you to have you can see them excellent communication skill excellent organizational skills advanced typing and computing skills in all microsoft office packages and the, the rest so what do they desire you to have a level 2 certificate in recruitment resourcing or equivalent knowledge of the home office sponsorship management system and you have to be bilingual i'm not sure exactly what um, languages they expect you to you know know how to speak but you have to be bilingual 
and that's all i have for you guys today as usual do not give up do not stop pushing do not stop applying you just never would know when your light will shine so go ahead and do not relent i'll see you guys in my next video until then you guys stay safe i love you all bye